How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing ATX. It is officially 2024. Happy New Year's to y'all. This year is going to be something special, guys, because for the last six months or so, I've been planning and working hard and doing more research than ever to figure out how to catch the fish of a lifetime in 24. And well, over the past few months, I've been going out to one of my favorite lakes in Austin, Texas, that being Lake Austin, with the goal of essentially doing some pre-fishing, if you will, for this year. I've been very strategical in how I've been fishing. I've been trying to find new spots, lures, and techniques that are going to allow me the greatest opportunity of catching the fish of a lifetime, that being an eight plus pounder, but especially, you know, a double digit out there. And the thing about this lake, guys, is that there are so many big fish. And I've caught them. I mean, I've caught fish in the seven, eight pound range here before, but my goal is to get them even bigger. And this year, 2024, is a year that I believe it's going to happen. But at this point, the year just started. We still have a lot of fishing to do, but something I have been doing a lot recently is going out to this lake, and like I said earlier, essentially pre-fishing it. And that is today's video, guys. I'm gonna be showing you pretty much all the pre-fishing I've been doing over the fall and into the winter time out on Lake Austin in hopes and an attempt at trying to find a giant in the year 2024. The search for a double digit is back on it's just beginning now we're at the very beginning stages of it but guys i believe i'm getting closer and closer to finally getting one. oh my gosh holy cow that's a giant let's go I'll see you later girl Been sitting out here for the past 40 minutes waiting for the sun to come up there was no action going on the sun just started peeking up and all of a sudden the fish are getting active they're starting to blow up now good sign the weather's really not that great today i mean it is overcast not too much wind currently we'll have a bit of a south wind later on in the day but pressure's real high got some storms moving through it's kind of doing our best weather right now honestly It could be really good, but also it could be pretty just dead and nothing going on. Just pull up spot number three and we had a really good blow up right in front of the boat just a second ago. That's positive. This is a spot where I caught about a three pounder last time, but I don't know if I really expect a whole lot out of it today. That's positive right there though, seeing that. Yep, now it's fish that ran pretty hard. There we go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Junkers, that's junkers. Come here. Come here. Yes, sir. <sighs> this spot coming up clutch again. The morning bite was not great. Did not see a whole lot of fish schooled up. So we quickly switched up. Went to throw the spinner bait around and we already got ourselves a solid fish. Look at the chunk on that fish. Oh my goodness. This is like a two pounder. That's probably, I'll give him three. 
maybe just shy. I mean, look at the belly on that fish. <laughs> That's crazy. Freaking unit of a fish right here. This thing has no business being three pounds, but I definitely think it is. It's gotta be close at least. Great fight, great eat. Let's get my day started off right. It's 50 degrees, it's raining. The weather's pretty miserable, real high pressure. The fish have just not been as fired up this morning as they have been the last few weeks out here. But that don't mean you still can't get them fired up. <laughs> you can tell that girl's been feeding all morning. Cause golly, she's fat. I mean, that's a two pounder, that's a three because how fat it is. Just imagine if we can hook into, you know, a six or seven, <laughs> it might be pushing 10 with that kind of girth. There's plenty of them in here. Let's keep fishing, let's go find ourselves one. Oh, there he is. Dang, I mean, it popped off, man. Oh, uh, that was a fish. A thousand percent, that was a fish. Popped them off. I don't really know if I've ever really had them that well. I can kind of just swiped at it. I may have had them for a second, but as soon as it hit those dead lily pad stalks, it popped the fish off. Another one. Nice. Not nearly as big, but we will certainly take them. There we go. Yeah, not as big or as fat as the last guy, but still a good eat by him. Ooh, man, barely hooked. Literally the only thing keeping this guy hooked was just the pressure I had from reeling him in. Number two, I will see you later, friend. The rain real briefly lightened up. <laughs> as I say that, it's literally coming back right now. Oh my gosh, back to back cast. Ate it the second it hit the water. He's not huge, but man, he is digging. He's bigger than the last one though. Gosh, second it hit the water. Or is he? <laughs> Actually, he might be even smaller. Never mind, he's smaller. I don't know why. I think he just got stuck in some of those uh, dead lily pad stockings, and that's why he felt bigger. Fish weren't being very active this morning, but all of a sudden, there's fish on back to back cast. Number three. See you. Hell yeah, dude. I barely even got the reeling, and that dude was already on it. That kind of brings up a good point I want to talk about right now. Um, I came through here and fished this spot one way. I went back into that cove a little bit, and then I've come back out and I'm fishing it another way. A lot of times when you can get a fish to eat, especially on moving bait, in an area like this, or on like a rocky point, you know, somewhere where there's a bunch of um, just structure fish to hold to, which is probably gonna hold obviously more than one fish, it can be really beneficial to come through and fish something twice, like from a different angle. Because depending on how you hit it, can depend on how the fish see the lure and or if they even see it at all. So sometimes, you know, you can work through a spot entirely, turn right back around, work it a different way, and catch, you know, quite a few more fish. We caught one fish going in, we've already got two coming out. I think a lot of that has to do and just how I'm working it. I got a much different angle here. Boy, y'all, it has gotten cold. Man, it's gotten cold. It's currently still about 50 degrees, but it's been raining hard for the last 25, 30 minutes with no relief in sight, it seems. And that water, man, that was wetness of the rain. It's just making me so cold. We're now fishing a little grass flat that leads up to some more lily pads. Pretty similar to what we were just fishing. There's just a lot more hydrilla here. Interested to see if we'll have the same results to last place. Oh my gosh, there was a good sized fish right on that point. I literally saw it, bro. It crushed it. How did it not get hooked? Let's put it back there again. That was a good sized fish. Probably a three or four pounder. Definitely, I mean, at least from here, it looked like it was a three or four pounder. I had him hooked for a second. I don't know what happened though. Oh man, dude. How did he not stay hooked? Oh man. Oh, gosh, dude. 
That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a nice fish. That was a nice fish. Gosh, man. That is definitely a nut movie fish, that's for sure. Get in the net. Oh, come here. Come here. Yes, sir. Ha ha. Woo, he crushed it. Woo, she crushed it. Hell yeah, dude. That makes up for missing that last one. You got both the hooks in this one. Gosh. That's a stud. It's probably three and a half. Look at that. Now that is a beautiful fish. Wow. What a great bite and fight. Another really fat one. This time, rather than coming through lily pads, came over a little grass flat here. Yep. Damn near on the dot, three six, two ounces off of three and a half. My goal today was to get a four. Haven't quite yet done that, but that's two threes. There's our biggest of the day to this point. Alrighty, fish. Let's get you back. <laughs> Already ready. Hell yeah, dude. I'm not even gonna lie, that kind of surprised me. I was like not expecting to get eaten like that right there. That fish freaking hit it like a freight train, dude. Ooh, gosh, it's colder than hell, but we're catching them good. There we are. Nice. This is my first fish in a long time if I can get him in the boat. There we go. Not a big one, but we just were able to get him on the trailer hook. It has been a while, guys. Wow, this fish is cold. Once that morning bite kind of wore off around 10 o'clock, the fish just went dormant. I've tried a lot of different things and I've really struggled to get eats, but there we are. Just past one, it's been about three hours, but we're on the board again, number five. Thank you, little buddy. Really appreciate the bite. See you. The spinner bait up shallow over grass gets it done again, man. I put it down for a little while just because I went a, you know, at least an hour and a half without getting a bite on it. Then I tried some other things, tried stuff at the bottom, tried fishing out deep, no success, like not even a bite. So we're back fishing shallow over grass with spinner bait, and right away, three casts in, we got ourselves another one. There we go. Nice. Camera just died, but there's the fish. He bit while the camera was off. There he is, though. I think we just got enough of the fish on it. Number six. See you, pal. I think we just got enough of that on film where y'all saw most of that fish catch. <laughs> Camera's dead. I'm just kind of turning it on and off. All right, I need to change my battery out because I just caught me another fish. I'm literally just screwing around, throwing in the caffeine shed, and now I got seven. I'm honestly not sure how much those last two fish catches were on film because literally my battery was like dead. And the way these GoPros work, whenever the battery dies, you can still take little quick, like eight second clips where it'll shut off again. <laughs> That's kind of what I was doing. I mean, I'm literally just getting ready to go home. I'm so tired. Like I got about two and a half hours of sleep last night. I've been up since 4.45 AM and it's currently about two in the afternoon. So I'm exhausted. I'm getting ready to go home. I was just taking a few last casts to mess around once my GoPro battery died and all of a sudden I picked off two fish doing that. <laughs> Nice, dude. Holy cow, that's might be the best fish of the day. What? That was so out of nowhere. <laughs> what? That was just out of nowhere. Okay, I don't think it's best of the day, but it's probably a three pounder as well. Just sitting here relaxing. That is an old, old fish. I can just tell by the way its skin is, but look at that. That dorsal. <laughs> Holy cow. 
This is a very old fish. I bet you it's a very old male. Gosh, this thing has seen its days. Let's see, is it a male? It is a male. Yeah, it's got the point. Wow. Yeah, this is a really old male. First off, big male. It's probably a three pound male. Second off, this fish has been around for a long time. <laughs> you can just see how banged up its mouth is. That old dorsal. Thank you, buddy. Sharing a little bit of your story with me. That's pretty special. What an awesome fish. I mean, again, I'm literally just messing around out here at this point and we're still catching them. <laughs> it's crazy. Another solid one too. <laughs> yeah, he didn't need no easy release. I think it was ready to go. This is so crazy, guys. I mean, literally, I have not caught more than one fish in the last three hours. And now we've caught three in the last like five, 10 minutes. I was getting ready to leave. Like I, I darn near left. Like I literally said, I'll just take one last cast. I caught a fish, I stayed a little bit longer. And now look what we're doing. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm literally just slow rolling this caffeine shad. Like I'm so dang tired. I'm just sitting my butt in the seat, relaxing. And I'm just very, very slowly fishing this thing. And it's working. <laughs> it's working like crazy along this wall here. Wow. Pretty crazy I figured this one out. Another one. <laughs> one away from double digits. Holy cow, dude. What is going on, bro? I'm just freaking sticking them out here. That time off that point, there's a little point about four feet under the water. That's just crazy. We sticking them now. That was a fish. <laughs> that's crazy. That did not feel like a fish. Freaking double digits. That's that's crazy. Absolute pip squeak for double digits, but it's still double digits. Crazy man. I was getting ready to go home. I was getting ready to go home when I had five fish, and now we got double digits. Oh, other fish just grabbed it. I watched him do it. That was so cool. <laughs> I thought he's a little bigger than that, not gonna lie. I watched him follow it out. He was right near that dock. He followed it out, came up and ate it. It's really weird. He's kind of got like a big head and he got a little tiny derp body. <laughs> That's the weirdest looking fish I've ever seen. Like it actually looks like stunted. Like the head to body ratio is just not right on that guy. That's so weird. Number 11. Dadgummit. I'm sure you can still see the ripples in the water, but just caught me number 12. I'm up to 12 now. Kind of a bummer, it was a little better fish. The last two have been tiny. This one was actually like a pound and a half or really textbook fish, as I was saying, to what I thought was the camera, but the camera was not on. Literally, fish was sitting right in that brush pile there. Hardly even felt it eat, just saw the line take off. It was there. It's just, I mean, it's just crazy, man. All I've done is just sit on my butt and just chill in this chair and just drag it, like just slowly fish it. And I'm so tired. I don't mind doing that. Like I'm in no hurry to fish right now and it's working so well. They're just eating it off the bottom. I mean, I've literally been watching them do it because the water's so dang clear. Like I came in here earlier when I was getting ready to leave initially and I was working it fast like I normally do. Like this is normally a lure you work relatively fast. You kind of work it like a jerk bait almost, like a soft jerk bait. But I mean, there's a lot of ways you can work it. You can work it as a top water. You can work it as a soft jerk bait. You can work it like a Sanko. You can also just drag it along the bottom. And with the pressure being high, overcast skies these fish are definitely sluggish right now but man they're they're teeing off on this thing they love it this this presentation is getting them to eat like crazy oh god oh dang it he spit it that's definitely a tiny fish you just thumped the ever-living crap out of it there he is i mean he's not tiny tiny I mean, yeah, he's not big, but he's not tiny, tiny either. 13. Gosh. This one at least was actually on film, too. See you, pal. Gosh. Didn't even feel me. Just saw the line running. Chest cam's dead. So I got on the dash cam now. Haven't been using it at all today. And there's number 14. We got bit the cast before, came back and he got it again. Very cold fish, but they're still eating. Mm. 
both my cameras are dead. Literally just said last cast of the day again, and I caught number 15 on the drop shot out deep in 20 feet. I need to keep saying last cast, because every time I say last cast, I catch a fish. <laughs> there he is, number 15. Crazy. Certainly not lost hope, but I was definitely hoping to see a little more action than this. Like, we're still seeing some fish, but just not like crazy though. And also, they've been so sparse and spread out, it's been really hard to like actually target them. There's a fish. Nice. Alrighty. First fish of the morning. Getting a little worried there. Not seeing a whole lot of consistent action, but at least we got one. Chunky about one and a half pounder. Start the morning off. Heck yeah, man. See you, bud. There we go. Nice. Nice. This is a good fighter. I don't think he's huge. Nah, he's not huge, but he's fighting good. Yeah, he's pretty little, but he's fighting real well. Nice. Number two, nice. Definitely a little bit of an improvement over the last fish. Say he's right around two, maybe a little shy of it, but good fight by a man. Nice bite, good fight. See you, pal. Oh, <laughs> he bit my finger. Right as I was throwing him back, he like clamped down on my hand. I don't think I've ever had a fish do that to me before. I think I might stay here for a second. Yeah, probably a good idea considering I'm hooked up again. Oh, he's so small. Teeny little dude. Can't even hardly feel him on there. So it's just bigger than I thought it was. Like not like lengthwise, but like, I thought this thing was like a micro micro. It's a fat little one pounder, just decided not to fight at all. See you, pal. There we go. There's one nice. Decent fish. Best fish today for sure. Nice. Heck yeah. That's a good one. Number four. Really nice bite and fight by this guy. Went back further in the cove. This is where we're seeing most fish blow up. And there we are. There's our result. See you, bud. Okay, he's tiny. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? It is a fish. <laughs> there he goes, easy release. Well, not exactly the size of fish I'm after, but a dock fish is a dock fish. You know what? To start, hopefully, we'll catch one about nine pounds bigger next time. <laughs> well, y'all didn't see it, but skipped it right back underneath the boat here, and we got fish number six. I'll certainly take it. That's a fish. That's a fish. Come on. Mother f Knew that was gonna happen. Broke me off on the boat slip. There he is right there. Nice. I just saw him. He came and got it. That's so sick. I saw this fish swim right by the side of the boat. 
and he darted off kind of towards where my caffeine shad was and I didn't see it for a second. Then I felt him bite. Gosh, it's been a minute without a bite. Caught some fish this morning, then went a long time without getting any fish. And then I've gone about another three hours or so since the last time I caught a fish. That's number seven. Gosh, beautiful fish. About a two pounder just off of how fat she is. Freaking epic, man. It's been a long day, but very rewarding. Number seven. See you later, girl. Give you all an idea of how long I've been out here for. I got out here at 6 a.m. About 40 minutes before the sun came up. It's currently four o'clock in the afternoon. The sun goes down in about an hour and a half. Gosh, we've only had eight hookups all day. I mean, for a day that long, it's not great, obviously, but also, again, got to a grain of salt considering almost all I've done all day is just throw massive glide baits and swim baits. There's a fish. Nice. Running right at me, running right at me, running right at me. Right at me. Gosh. Oh, it's a white bass. What the heck? All right, well, I guess just like the other day, got some white bass in here. Not what I'm after, but that's a good start to the morning, though. All right, got a fish in the boat. White bass, maybe. Oh my gosh, a block everywhere right there. Got a massive school right there. Gonna blow it up right here too. There's a fish. He's looking backwards and he ate it. Uh, a little largey. All right, so I guess there's some large off in here too. Largey numero uno on the day. Fish number two. There we go. Nice. Another tiny largemouth. Is that a guad? No shot, it's a guad. <laughs> what? This is only like the third Guadalupe inning I've ever caught on like Austin. That's not something you see every single morning. Guadalupe and an A-rig. Plus, that's three bites and three different species. There we go. It's a little better one. Best one in the morning. Not saying a whole lot, but we'll take it. There we are. Nice little one and a half pounder. Oh, hit it. Gosh, crushing it. Come on, fish. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I got one. Oh, holy cow, that's a toad white bass, dude. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I was getting hit so much. I was like, how is that possible? There were so many of them. Number five, toad white bass. There was so many more of them too. Those white bass all go together in a school. I definitely found that school. I knew they were white bass too, because they hit it like a bajillion times, like weren't getting hooked. Because their mouths are so dead gum small. I'm really surprised I didn't get two. I probably definitely had two or more even eat it, but there he is. <laughs> I think it's another white bass. Yep. Back to back cast, bro. Dude, that's a toad as well. Another white bass. Another toad at that. Yeah, there's a whole school of white bass right here. Yep. They're on it. Oh, it's a tiny largey. What in the world? Buddy, I thought you were a white bass. Number seven. That's fish on three casts in a row, too. I think I definitely found some fish right here. There's still plenty of fish here. They just don't seem to be on the surface as much. There he is. Probably not a giant, but it's a fish. Okay. There's a largey. Not the toad I saw jump, but we'll certainly take him. And there he is. Heck yeah, man. We haven't caught any big large rough yet, but we're still catching them. Makes me happy.
good eat. Oh, fish. Now he's back on Hawkeye. It's a bluegill. Bluegill. <laughs> That's funny, bro. I was like, he's eating like a bluegill. Let's see if I can get him to eat. That's a good little hook set right there, right for the top of the jaw. It's a long-eared sunfish. See you, bud. It's our four different species today, though. That's kind of weird.